Welcome back to Daybreak here. We have been monitoring uh, which is now Tropical Storm Nicholas. You see downtown Beaumont right there, currently 72 degrees. We have seen rain been falling uh, throughout the middle of the night, throughout the morning. And uh, in case you're on the, or about to get on the road, maybe to work, please be cautious. We've seen several power outages in Mid County, especially the Port and H's area here in the Beaumont area, uh, where there's over two to 3,000 people that are without power right now. And this is Beaumont currently right now, Tracy, and uh, no Brockman Street, Congress, Avenue B, Annie Street, just some of the streets around there that are currently without power. Yeah, along the MLK, south of Washington, uh, there are several thousand people now without power, and they are telling us from Entergy that uh, they won't be able to get your lights back on anytime soon, of course, because we are in the middle of a tropical storm, but they do plan to try to get out there and restore the power as quickly as possible and as quickly as they can do it safely as well. All right, we just got a 4 a.m. update uh, and Jeff Gerber is standing by right now with the very latest on uh, on Nicholas. Yeah, it was a hurricane now down, down to top of home strength as we uh, take a look at uh, what's going on uh, over to Horseman's Western Shore where we picked up just a little over a half an inch of rain so far uh, since midnight. You can see the storm itself uh, starting to work its way uh, just to the west of Galveston Bay. It's about 20, 30 miles south of south southwest of uh, Galveston and continues to move off towards the north and east. Heavy rain out ahead of this, and that's what we've been seeing overnight. Some of these bands coming in. Uh, another strong band of some rain still off the coast. Uh, that's going to be slow moving in, so we'll see it maybe a little bit later on this morning. But out ahead of this one main band here has been some isolated bands of some pretty heavy rainfall. Here's the 4 o'clock update. Winds are at 70 miles an hour. It is now moving to the north-northeast at about 9 miles per hour. So it's still moving at a, at a pretty good pace. It's down a little bit from uh, the last update where it was moving north-northeast at about 10. Here's the latest track from the Hurricane Center. Uh, it takes it up towards uh, Houston around 1 o'clock this afternoon. Winds at 50 miles an hour, then brings it into southeast Texas early tomorrow morning, late tonight, uh, with winds at about 35 miles per hour. And then as we get into uh, Wednesday afternoon, it'll shift over into southwest Louisiana. Once it gets close to the Sabine River or over top of us, most of the rain will be off towards our east. So we're expecting the rain uh, it could be heavy at times throughout the day today, and then as we get into late tonight into tomorrow, that rain should shift to the east, and we should start to dry out a little bit. Not expecting a lot of rain on Wednesday and the rest of the week as this thing kind of slowly pushes into parts of southwest Louisiana. Looks like it could stick around into uh, Thursday over into parts of uh, southwest, southwestern Louisiana, south central Louisiana. But like I said, with the rain on the east side of this, that doesn't mean we're going to get uh, a ton of rain here. We're expecting still about five to maybe 10 inches in some spots. Here's current radar, and for the most part, it's moderate to light rainfall. We have a few pockets of heavier rainfall where you're seeing a little bit of the yellow. We'll take you down to the Gulf of Mexico. That's that big batch of some very heavy rain. It's been slowly trying to work its way northward. It's being pushed by the center of the storm, which is just south there of Friendswood uh, and just towards the west of Galveston. But uh, this stuff will slowly try to work its way up towards us this morning. We're not going to see a big path push of a uh, heavy rain pushed through the area here over the next hour or so. This stuff is slowly moving towards uh, the north. As we look at rainfall total so far, this is over the last 12 hours up in the lakes, uh, maybe half an inch or so, and then down around the triangle, basically from, say, Lumberton southward, we've been seeing anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall over the last 12 hours. A couple of pockets where you might see a little bit more than uh, maybe two inches, but for the most part, one to two inches. Not a lot of rain uh, so far with this. The heavy stuff still down into the Gulf of Mexico, and we could see some of those heavier amounts come in later on for this morning. Overall, anywhere between about three and seven inches of rainfall with maybe some isolated spots picking up uh, close to 10 inches of rainfall across the area. So I think we can handle that amount of rain. It's these bands that come in, and if they would drop something, uh, maybe three, four inches of rain in a short amount of time. That's where we could run into some flash flooding. And we'll be watching for that. We do have a flash flood watch out that goes until 6 o'clock. Uh, you can see down there in the red down towards uh, Galveston Bay where the center of the storm is. They're under a flash flood warning right now where they've been picking up some very heavy rainfall here over the last couple of hours or so. As far as winds are concerned, generally right now between about 15 and 25. We had one gust earlier that I saw out of Municipal Airport in Beaumont with 41. That's with one of those bands coming through. But generally it's been between about 15 and 25 miles per hour. The heavier, rain, uh, heavier winds, of course, down towards Houston and Galveston, 39 to 43 there where they've been seeing uh, a little bit
bit closer to the center of the storm. Uh, we do have a tropical storm warning out. We could see wind gusts still upwards of 35, maybe 40 miles per hour as the storm gets a little bit closer towards us uh, later on uh, this afternoon. So we'll be watching for that. And right now we're just continuing to watch the radar bring in these uh, bands of some heavier rain. Right now we don't have any bands over top of us. We had that one go through earlier. Uh, we do have some of that heavier rain, but that's still down into the Gulf of Mexico. A little bit of pockets of heavy rain here and there. I want to show you future cast. Future cast uh, shows pretty heavy rain off and on throughout the day today. And then here comes the center of the storm. Uh, looks like it's going to ride right along I-10 and then push over into parts of southwest Louisiana overnight. So by tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, most of the rain should be off towards the east. We don't have to deal with too much in the way of rain. Looks like Wednesday, Thursday into uh, Friday. Forecast for today, still we have rain heavy at times. We got that flash flood watch out. Southeasterly winds at 20 to 30. We could see some gusts higher than that as the storm gets a little bit closer. Temperatures in the lower 80s today and then for tonight, uh, still more rain in the forecast. Uh, things will start to taper down though and temperatures will be back down into the lower 70s. Alrighty, thank you so much, Jeff. Now, of course, we want to be your eyes and ears out there on the roadways. We're hoping that you just stay hunkered down and safe inside your homes. Right now, out in our storm tracker, 12 News' Dominique Lay. She's ready to show us how the conditions are looking out on our roadways. Good morning, Dominique. Good morning, Tracy. So, yes, you can definitely tell that there is a storm coming. It's on the way. Since this morning, the, the rain has been pretty steady right now. Me and the photographer were out on East X Freeway by the mall, by Parkdale Mall, and you can tell that the rain has been, that the rain is coming down, but it's, it's a steady light rain. It's a rain that uh, it's been since I came into work this morning, this morning, late last night around 1140. Um, it's a steady rain. It has gotten a little bit heavier. Um, I think it's getting a little bit heavier right now, actually. Um, and I know sometime around 2, 210 to 240 this morning, we were driving around um, in some of the service roads, the feeder roads. Um, they are getting, they are beginning to flood right on the side, right on the, on the right lanes. Um, the shoulders are beginning to get, catch a little bit more water there. Um, I know even around 3 this morning, the rain has still been pretty calm. It's just, um, but you can definitely tell that it's coming. Um, we were traveling earlier as well on Calder, and we saw some trash cans down. Um, we would like to remind Southeast Texas that uh, we, in, in Jefferson County, we're in that state disaster declaration along with um, 16 other counties, uh, including Newton and Orange County. Um, so we want to make sure that people monitor the roads and stay safe. Um, and TxDOT earlier, they said just to keep monitoring those roads and um, and as you can see, we're heading down, we're continuing to head down East X Freeway. And the, it doesn't look like there's too much traffic on the road but we will continue to monitor the road and we're gonna keep monitoring um, the rain and the weather and we're gonna, we're gonna update you guys and uh, we'll let you guys know more information of, on, in the weather tracker. For now, in Beaumont, Dominique Lay, 12 News. All right, thank you so much, Dominique, for that live uh, view for us. And of course, those low-lying areas, those places that typically pond, the feeder roads, those are the areas that you really need to to be aware of if you do have to get out and hopefully you don't this morning, right? Yeah, you know, and it's pouring down right now. And of course, uh, you know, there is some power outages around Southeast Texas right now. Beaumont, especially in Port H is where we have seen that uh, reports of, um, of, of, of uh, generators uh, kind of kind of uh, blowing up over there. Now, if you live by the Oak Bluff Cemetery, Port H's Park, Nature's River Wheelhouse, more than likely you have no power, which that's West Street, MacArthur, Block, Dallas Street, Grisby Avenue. Port Nature's Avenue, Pine Street, all around there, you see it's all red. Uh, it is, uh, you guys are without power, which is about over 2,000 people so far. Yeah, and according to Energy, they say they aren't going to be able to get out to those areas anytime soon. They said overnight, no shot at that. Of course, they want to do so safely, and they're not sure. They're giving no estimate at this time for when the lights will be back on to you. So just hang tight, and hopefully... Uh, we all get through this safely and we'll get the lights back on or they will get the lights back on for you 
as quickly as they're able to do so. And hopefully we won't have a lot more of these power outages if the winds don't pick up too much more. No, not at all. And I should say transmitters, not generators, transmitters yes. that have been, uh, that have reports have been blowing up uh, around Port Nations. Of course, while you were sleeping or maybe trying to sleep, uh, if you have slept at all, Tropical Storm Nicholas upgraded to a Category 1 hurricane, made landfall uh, west of Houston there. Our reporter Brad Borders is live out in Port Arthur. Uh, where we've seen the outer edge of the storm start to move in. Brad, what can you tell us? Yeah, Nick, it's really starting to run in the last uh, couple of minutes. The rain and winds really picking up here in downtown Port Arthur. We're here in the downtown pavilion. You can see behind me the winds are really whipping these trees around here outside. Uh, last couple of minutes, a lot of this rain starting to come in. It's been uh, pretty... Uh, as you can tell right now, it's picking up a, a lot right now. Uh, Mayor Thurman Barney said in uh, updates yesterday to the public, he's expecting a four-foot storm surge at Sabine Pass, and he's saying he's concerned that if uh, there could be some flash flooding issues for anyone who lives there, he's concerned about flash flooding in the Port Arthur area today going into Wednesday, especially as this rain and these winds uh, continue to pick up. A lot of the local public schools have closed as a precaution. Lamar State College has closed as a precaution today. But again, you guys can see this right now. I mean, this is really starting to come in with the rain and the wind here in Port Arthur. We're under the uh, downtown pavilion as a little bit of cover, but you can see again, the trees behind me are really whipping around. The rain is just swirling around downtown Port Arthur. So uh, we're gonna continue to monitor this. Uh, we're gonna head out to the seawall once the sun rises. But uh, right now, uh, before the sun rises, last 30 minutes, the winds have picked up substantially. Mayor Barty also told the public again, reminding them uh, if you see flash flooding, don't try to drive through it, turn around, don't drown. The message can't be reiterated enough in uh, storms like this. Uh, but you guys can see, I mean, this is like hitting my back really hard. It's uh, really kind of getting a lot more forceful right now. So we're going to continue to monitor the situation in Port Arthur. For now, I'm reporting live in Port Arthur. Back to you all. Okay. Thank you so much, Brad. And of course, turn around, don't drown, and you don't want to get stuck or stalled in those high waters. Also, you never know what's under there. There could be a down power line or something. So just avoid those high water areas. And the American Red Cross also jumping in to help just in case. They say they've already opened up six shelters for those affected by the storm. Two in southeast Texas, one in Orange at the Orange Church of God and one in Nederland at First Baptist Church of Nederland. Now the addresses both there on your screen. The American Red Cross says that it's on standby to open more shelters if they are needed. And you may have heard these whooshing sounds outside your window. A lot of you hearing the rain come down on top of your roofs overnight, maybe waking you up as well. This video sent to us by one of our 12 News crew in the north end of Beaumont. This is outside his house. Of course, if you're going to take video pictures, we'd love to see it. Just make sure that you do it safely and you can always upload it to our website, 12newsnow.com. And uh, go to the Near Me tab there on your, on your app on your phone. Send us those pictures and we'd love to share those with your neighbors. Your pics and video with 12 News. Just go to the Near Me tab inside the 12 News Now app and click Share With Us.